Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to a new video. In this frequency problem, find if the array can be sorted or not. And what is the condition like? The condition is that we are given a zero indexed array of positive integers nums. So again, integers are positive and the array is known as nums. In one operation, you can swap any two adjacent elements, but the condition is if they have same number of set bits. Now, to just count the set bits, you can have just iterate on the elements as in like just write okay, while n is more than zero, if uh, n mod two, if n mod two, then I can actually increase the count of set bits. Let's say count plus plus, and I can just keep on doing n equal to n by two. By this, you can actually count the set bits for any specific number. Else, I just don't feel like doing it. I use the inbit library, which we have in all the languages. For example, in C, we have underscore underscore built in underscore pop count. Pop count. Or you can just write on Google like how to find or basically STL library for finding the count of set bits in any number. So I can use this to find the count of set bits in any number and he's saying that I can swap to adjacent elements only in only when the count of two which means the count of the set bits in those adjacent elements are actually same and uh, I can do this operation any number of times which is the next statement and I have to return true if I can sort the array else return false. So ultimate aim, maksat, maksat ni bula ar maksat, it, our aim is that my array, this array which is the input array should look like, should look like a sorted array in the end which means I should I should be having 2, 4, 8, 15 and 30. It should look like the sorted array in the end. Now, now before going on, the, going on the example again as I always say, never ever look at the explanation of the example. Never. Firstly, by yourself, see that what should be the answer, true or false, by yourself. Firstly, with the problem statement itself, right? With this, what will happen is you will be able to build the actual edge cases also parallelly, which you might end up missing while reading the problem or by, by, while reading the examples itself. So now we will see and come back. Okay. I need, I let's say these are some of the elements, right? I need to swap them. I need to swap them. Now, let's imagine that, that I can swap all of them, which means, okay, his set bit count is same as this one, this one, this one. And let's, let's, let's number. Okay. He has A, A, A. He has B, he has B and then keep on doing. Okay. Let's say, let's again, uh, we have some other. Um, let's name it as he has a B, he has a C and then he has a B and then again, let's say he has a A here, let's say, or let's say B here, no worries. So one thing is that if I can swap them, right? So here the value is two, here the value is three, here the value is let's say one value. I'm saying let's the values are like this again, the count of bits is not same. So let's say the value is eight here. So I can swap them, which means for sure eight can come here, two can come here. That is obvious. I, I can also swap them because for sure if 8 and 1 also have the same count of set bits. So for sure 8 can also come here. 1 can also come here. Again, these have same number of set bits. So again, I can swap them to 1. So you saw that my 8 can come on to all the positions. My 2 can come on to again. Two, my 2 can come here also. 2, 8, 1. Right. So you saw that. Okay. My if I have same number of bits and my operation is a swap operation. So if I just take this as a bunch, okay, I take this as a bunch of same number of bits. I know any number, any number can reach any of the places, any of the places, any of the places. That's, that's so great. So if I know, okay, if I can make a bunch, I know for sure any number can go any of the place in this, right? Okay. That's great. Now, can he go to next bunch which means as you can see next bunch i can make of b where every number can be placed at any location inside this group okay inside this group i can shuffle it any way whatsoever i want because they have same number of bits and shuffle and see my operation was a swap but then i reached to a conclusion that okay i can also do a shuffle instead i can also do a shuffle instead in this group itself because i am able to reach any value to all the possible places in this group same goes for one same goes for two two my two can reach to any possible place in this entire group same one can reach to any possible place in this entire group it can reach any possible place in this entire group 
सो आई कैन सफल माई एंटायर ग्रुप टू एक्चुअली मेक इट रीच और मेक इट एज एज अट्स एवर आई वॉन्ट इट ओके सो नाउ आई कैन सफल बी आई कैन सफल सी बिकॉज सी इज जस्ट वन ग्रुप आई कैन सफल बी कैन आई कैन नॉट एट एनी वे वॉट्स एवर शफल बी एंड सी बिकॉज दे हैव डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ सेट बिट्स This A B C represents the count of set bits. Here I have A count, A count, A count. Here I have B B B. Here I see A. Here I have B. So I can now say one thing. I can make groups. Okay, this is one group. This is one group. This is one group, and this is one group. Now in this group I can shuffle them up. And now my ultimate aim is okay. In this group I can shuffle them up. And when I can shuffle them up, I will try to sort them. I'll try to bring them in the sorted possible order. Now. this was what we could infer from the so from the so called problem which we have read so far now let's see if we can actually implement that now 2 has the count of set bits as 1 let's say count of set bits is cs it's 1 it's 1 it's 1 here the count is uh, something else uh, which is 15 if i represents it will be something else let's say x here also it is x same count it is shifted to the left side so i can also infer it is x x only count of set bits so you can see i can easily make a group here i can easily make a group here now maksad aim was that we have to sort it down sorry this was not the array this is the sorted array which is the maksad the actual array is this specific array count of bits is 1 1 1 8 it's x here it's x so i know that i can for sure shuffle this group I know I can for sure shuffle this group. So now I have to make sure. Okay, I make the exact same size of group in the sorted array also because this is ultimately my aim. This is ultimately my aim. So now I want to just have a quick check if all the elements in this because I know this first group I can shuffle entirely and make it and I want to make it like this specific first group. Next group I want to shuffle and make it to the same like next group. So I'll just make sure. if all the elements are exactly same in both the groups because the size is same size is same because see i just took the first group i made the group in the original nums array i sorted the nums array and with the original nums array i know okay this is all the same set count elements so i just took okay i just replicated that same the same size of group on the sorted array also and i just want to say this elements should be same as what we have in this input original input so just to compare one way is compare the count other easy way is i can just simply sort this group this is already sorted group this should be equal so 2 4 8 is this group i'll simply get this group elements which is 2 4 and 8 i'll simply sort them up which is for sure 2 4 8 if it is matches great go for and check and verify for the next group i will verify for the next group which is nothing but 3 15 okay i will simply sort it down firstly 15 30 is 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 it, is it matching yeah it is matching so now i just need to see okay if the group should match group elements should exactly match now one way is easy way one way one sorry one less complexity way is getting the count and matching the count itself other easy way but a more comp like more uh, increase in time complexity is simply sort this up simply sort this up but yeah ultimately it not increase the overall complexity because ultimately it's always sorted but yeah ultimately sort this up and then compare with the sorted array group and if it is same okay wallah go try for the next group if it is also same next group but next is empty which means you have tried for all the groups and all the groups are actually matching return a true Let's look at the next example. One, two, three, four, and five. This is the original array. This is the sorted array. Oh, both are same, but still, still, we have not checked it, but still, we can just have a quick check. Count of set bits one, one. Here it is two. Here it is one. Here it is two. So to make a group, I'll simply make a group. Okay, make a group. Make a group like this. Make a group like this. Like this and like this. Now I simply go and check. Okay, make the same group in the sorted. Make a group. Make a group. Make a group. Make a group. is this group matching first group first group simply sort this first group although it is sorted but yeah simply sort this first group yeah it is matching great move on next next group matching yeah matching next group matching yeah matching next group matching yeah matching okay answer is true thus this is the only thing which you have to perform just make a group 
कंपेयर दी सॉर्टेड एंड द ओरिजिनल ग्रुप इफ दे मैच द काउंट ऑफ एलिमेंट्स वाला मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट ग्रुप इफ एंड टाइम दे कैन नॉट रिटर्न अ फॉल्स सो वी डू दिस एग्जैक्ट सेम स्टफ ऑल्सो द कोड माइट बी अ बिट लॉन्ग बट या इट कैन बी बट मेड शॉर्टर सो फर्स्टली आई जस्ट जनरेटेड दी सेट काउंट व्हिच इज नथिंग बट दी काउंट ऑफ सेट बिट्स ऑल्सो यू डोंट नीड दिस एरे यू कैन जस्ट जनरेट दिस एट हियर आल्सो व्हाइल यू आर चेकिंग that is because this is a simple login operation which you don't want to generate it again and again i just stored it so that i just don't want to generate it again and again but yeah it's just the space you can reduce if you want that's not required but yeah if you want so i got i got the set counts of all the elements all the indexes in this by using a built in pop count okay when this i have got you remembered i need to have a original array i need to have a sorted array so i this array input array i got this in my original array okay and then i just sorted this exact same array so as to make a sorted array so my nums is now the sorted array and my original array original nums is not like or my original array now i'll simply go on to all of my indexes and i will make the group i use simply two pointers simply make a group as you remember the first example which was nothing but 8 4 2 3 8 4 2 13 and 15 how i will make a group i am at this specific index i i will start my index j from here itself and i'll check j and j plus 1 if they have set count set bits count is as same simply increase the j as you can see both have set bits count let's say it's sc both is there one 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 it is x x you saw j and j plus 1 both have set count as same okay great then increase your j both have same count j and j plus 1 okay increase your j both have oh different count okay now you saw that as well it is different it will simply break so you saw it will simply break so your i to j is actually a group right here so i know that i will simply go on to uh, I, like start off with my specific index i and then i'll try to find my group size which means i initialize my j with the same i itself and i'll just check if j plus 1 is less than n and also the set counts of j plus 1 and j which means me as you saw we were doing a j and j plus 1 we are doing this if it is same then move your j forward okay i'll move your i will move my j forward now if it is not okay let's let's forget this condition but yeah if it is not then it will simply break out as you saw j and j plus 1 was not equal to it simply break out so this is same this is the group size i to j is a group size now as you forgot or as you have remembered if something is a group size i just need to compare one thing this group size of the current original array and the sorted array should be same now you remembered my sorted array is my sorted array is my nums this nums which i have simply sorted original array is the specific array itself so i will just do one thing i will i know i to j i will get this all the elements in a temporary vector let's say 2 4 8 and i know my sorted array looks like 2 4 8 30 2 so 4 8 15 and 30 i get this entire range of elements in other temporary vector let's say 2 4 8 in other te other temporary vector in this other temporary vector if these two are equal voila your group is matching again you can also use the unordered map to exactly have a count match but yeah it's up to you how you implement that and then you can simply go on to the next group okay i'll go on to the next group now for the next group itself okay you did a check that check function you will see is right here if the check is actually valid that's okay simply go on if it is not valid return a false return a false exactly here if it is you try for all the possible groups then ultimately return a true but if it is va not valid at any of the point return a false but yeah are in what if it is valid if it is valid then i can simply go on and try for the next group which is nothing but here itself you saw your you saw right your i should start from this so i just did initialize my i to j which means my i will be pointing right now here but my loop will actually increase the i next time so it will actually be pointing here itself i and then it will again start the same pattern okay j and then increase the j so keep on going forward but you saw that here i will here again my j will be here j will be right here then it is matching with j plus 1 okay my j will increase now j plus 1 is less than n okay j plus 1 is less than n 
so j and j plus 1 so it is j and it is j plus 1 so my j will actually increase okay it's here but what if okay this is completed this is entirely completed and then i actually reached okay this is entirely completed and then i actually let's say reach the end which means here itself ah, then what because okay if j is here right now you are comparing j and j plus 1 okay that's great but i am saying if you reached the end itself which is your j's n then you will have to put a condition okay if j reaches n but you you said okay if j reaches n still you should having a condition that okay your range should be from i to j itself which means it should not go beyond the range so i just set i just added one condition if my j reaches n please 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 do a j minus minus else i will get a null pointer exception or i will get a runtime exception so i just did a j write this again there are multiple ways to implement it it is entirely upon you that if you want to do like this or not usually i do like this okay i just put a for loop for my i and then i handle my j in the inside of my for loop and i make sure i just write with the example to make sure if everything is working fine or not now have a check function the check function simply says one thing bro you have original value you have nums sorted value you have this i to j range in that i to j range get all the elements out in the temporary vector so this temp1 will contain i to j range original nums this temp2 will contain sorted nums i to j range elements so i just got these i to j range elements in my temp1 and temp2 temp1 is for original temp2 is for sorted now i'll simply sort it my temp1 and then i'll compare my temp1 and temp2 if both are same great if not and then simply it will return a false again for this to implement you can also use an unordered map you don't need to sort it that's another way to solve it cool and ultimately you can simply return the true so by this the time of this is o of n log n and space is o of n but you can simply you cannot actually reduce the space like not exactly the space you can reduce but you can try to like reduce the overall space as in okay your space uses o of n plus n plus n you can try to reduce it to just o of n itself but exactly o of n will remain o of n like you can reduce from o of 3n to o of n but still o of n will remain that's what i want to infer like for example here it is o of 2 into log n 2 into n log n but yeah you can reduce to just o of n log n that's a operation which you can have to tell in the interview but right now you can actually solve it like this cool thanks for watching see you bye bye